<clears throat> We're back. My, nope. Hey, I'm doing solo stuff again. Isn't that fun? In the heart of a blizzard where winds howl like tormented souls and the snow fell relentlessly, Thomas Harding ventured forth, driven by desperation and fear. His daughter, Emily, had vanished into the white abyss, leaving behind only a chilling emptiness in their remote mountain cabin. So, the boys and I are so obsessed with V-Rising, that's all we play, and that's fine. I wouldn't change that for the world. But I need something else to upload, and it feels like, as my channel, I should be the one to pivot that. So, I, and plus, plus, I'm starting to get, like, my confidence back and shit, so here we are. Let's, let's play the video game. Ooh, retro style. Well, I'm gonna pretend I didn't know that by looking at all the pictures. Why do I need to sprint already? Oh, that's really crunchy snow. What's this? That one detail right there changed my life. I'll brave the storm, the cold, anything I have to find, or my Emily. Can I ask why the trees are so dense on both sides of me? Where's the cabin? Oh, what did I do? It's getting dark. I should use my lantern. Ooh, I feel like this is... Wait. This tree fell. I wonder how that... Ooh. I'm getting messages on Discord about uh, food for D&D &D tonight. Oh. Um... I don't know what that said. Uh oh. 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 That's bad. Why does the wind sound like it's in my brain? <sighs> How old is Emily? Oh, it's open, and big monsters can fit in this space. October 10th, 1923. Tonight, the blizzard rages with unmatched fury. We've decided to brave the treacherous journey westward to seek refuge in a cabin. My cabin? That I was just asking about? Am I the hero of both my own story and theirs? That would be great. I'm the hero! I cannot... Excuse... I cannot shake the feeling of unease that grips my heart. There are whispers in the wind and shadows that dance in the corners of my vision. May the gods protect us. Francis Blackwood. Is that Francis from Left for Dead? Is that his last name? Mr. Francis Blackwood? Um, I really don't like how... Is that a... No, oh, that's a... Investigate. An empty cooking pot. An empty cooking pot. An empty fire pit. No flames have licked its edges for quite some time. Sometimes you just need your edges licked. A cup. A cup. A cup. An abandoned camp. Its former occupants gone in a hurry. What prompted their sudden departure? Was it... Haunted Scarecrows? Hey. What? Hey. Hey, there's something in there. What what prompted their sudden departure? Was it... Possessed dolls? I'm going with the inanimate objects thing today. There, you see that in there, though, right? Like, what a... An abandoned camp. Its former occupants gone in a hurry. What prompted their sudden departure? Was it... Christine the car from the movie Christine? pretty famous uh, inanimate object. It became very am animated, though. Okay, so big open space. What's that? Oh! <gasps> 
I found them. Dead and covered in a strange crystalline frost. I wonder what could they could. Um, I can only imagine that they had a camp somewhere in that direction. They saw the haunted scarecrows and then they ran over here and hid behind this tree stump. Then, because of the blizzard, froze to death. What is this in the middle here? What about you? Are they they're all gonna say the same thing? Is this a circle? Every time I get near that thing, weird noises happen. <laughs> that actually scared me. I got a key though. Okay, so is this gonna make more noises? Disjointed voices whispering incomprehensible words, filling me with confusion. This stone seems alive. I have a key though. So you all can sit here amongst yourselves and fuck off! Why? Who? Is it this? Is it you? Oh, I forgot about my lantern. Why well, don't feel like it makes me see less? Oh, there's a there's a note. Oh, good. I feel like. I have to find certain things in this giant clearing here for the story to progress. And something that this gold key needs to go into. Yes? What are these things? Looks like something should fit in the obelisk. Gold key? Looks like something should fit in the obelisk. Gold key, right? Oh, oops, nope. Gold key, maybe? Um, oh, there's a, there's a pathway over here. I got a shovel. October 17th, 1923. I've, the, I pen this warning as I flee from the cursed heart of these woods. James, my dear companion, succumbed to his madness, consumed by his obsession. In his frenzy, I ended his torment and buried him by the cabin, the key to the lockbox with him. Leave it undisturbed, lest you unleash the horrors upon the world. So I, I'm getting Evil Dead vibes from this. Um, I'm obviously gonna unlock that lock box. Oh, civilization. Is that a, is that a creeper? A statue of a monster with ice-like flesh. Its frozen crystalline features glistens menacingly, filling me with unease. Are you also a haunted scarecrow? I don't know if I want to open that just yet. What a fucking cabin. Let it be known that Brother Jacob, under the guidance of our uh, revered high priest, shall forever carry the key to the locked box housing one of the sacred seals let this reminder serve as a beacon of our dedication to safeguarding the secrets of our ancient rites may our devotion remain unwavering order of the frostbound that's kind of cool might steal that for D, D. I don't know order of the frostbound i like that i'm gonna ha 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 bitch you think you can stop me i'm nosy as fuck There's a note over here, so I'm I'm headed over here to to read it. Hoo -ah! Oh, all right. 
This better not be the cabin, because that's a disappointing ass cabin. Garbage cabin. I'm kind of tracing the line here, just because I don't want to get lost. Okay, I'm, I'm here now. What's this? Ah, the empty cooking pot. Alright, so, I didn't go straight in. I feel like there might be something towards the middle that I need to see. Oh no, this is just the circle of dead bodies. The bodies are gone! The bodies are gone! Why the fuck are the bodies gone? You know, for a little indie horror game, I'm actually kind of spooked. over here is this new yo his body's even gone All right, oh I found one thing I don't know if there's another there's supposed to be another let me just like I already inserted the seal looks like so okay so I need the blue one So let's go find... Did I read this already? Yeah. Oh! Cabin! 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 Oh, I see. I see what I need to do. Where's the door? Dried blood. What violent events transpired here? Uh, read. October 15th, two days before what 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 we saw earlier. The shadows whispered dreadful truths, urging me to unlock the pulsating secrets within the lockbox. William, my son, beckons alive and awaiting rescue. Francis doubts, but I must stay. He seeks escape, I seek reunion, I will not be swayed. So I'm the new James, then. James, James Gandalf! I know that guy. The last couple firewood sticks. A wood burning star stove, cold and coated with dust, clearly unused for some time. The storm has abated. James returned amidst the fading blizzard, his mind lost to madness. He spoke of seeing his son William, a vision that defies reason. William has been dead for years. Oh no. Clutching a lockbox, his eyes gleam with insanity. Though the winds have calmed, I feel tra I feel trapped in an inescapable nightmare. A cup. Right this entry with a heavy heart. My companion James ventured into the storm yesterday, his resolve unyielding despite the dangers that lurk beyond our cabin door. Supplies dwindle, and the relentless howl of wind carries an eerie symphony of ice and bone breaking. Gotta say, I like the way that, um... Shit. I like the way that the words are used in this. Dig! Hello! Can I rebury? You look cold suddenly. Oh, a body is flesh strangely frozen like is oh. <laughs> Bitch. I'm gonna put the second seal in, and there ain't shit you can do about that. It's over here-ish, right? <clears throat> right? Nope, this way, I think. Right? I'm lost! No, I'm not. Turn the storm off. Alright. Hey, hey. That's fine. Why are you wearing red? What are your little hands doing?
There's three endings? Huh. That was good. I kind of want to get the other endings, though. Okay, so... I have the seals. But instead of going in here... There are two other... I could try and leave. I don't know, because that's the only thing I could see changing after like kind of like poking around for a while. I didn't find anything different, but there was a pathway that was kind of blocked uh, by what's his name, the the dead guy that was frozen with the shovel. There's like a pathway that was blocked with the with the storm. I'm thinking maybe I can go over there. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, it's not blocked anymore. I'm a genius. The monolith's calming whispers became a maddening cacophony, and Thomas began doubting his visions of Emily. Fearing the woods and their apparitions, he decided to escape, but the merciless winter showed no pity. Weakened and delirious, Thomas stumbled through the snow, seeing shadowy figures behind every tree and his skin taking on frost-like features. He finally collapsed, consumed by the cold. Indifferent swallowed him... The woods, indifferent, swallowed him, leaving only a whisper of his struggle in the silent, frozen air. And the only other thing I can think of is going back, like where I came from. So, I'm going to try that. Alright. That thing sounds scary! I bet you it wants to eat me! Maybe. Don't know. Maybe it just wants to be pet. A little behind the ear scratch. Where is... Excuse me. I'm having a conversation with my brother right now. And the rest of my family in our little uh, core family group chat. So we have like our giant group chat with, with everybody. Melanie. My, oh, my brother had a baby. I don't know if we had that revelation on the channel before. Uh, she said her first word today. It was Dada. JJ's not happy, but that's okay. All right, let's see if... Yeah, I'm smart. I'm smart. Return. Thomas began doubting the visions of Emily, fearing the woods in their... I've... His mind shattered by the ordeal. Arriving at his cabin in a delirious state, he noticed a small grave beside it. And he couldn't make out the name on the marker. Inside, the cabin remained lifeless and icy, providing no comfort as he desperately tried to warm himself. Alone and trembling, besieged by the voices in his mind, he found solace only in the chilling sounds of bones and ice breaking outside. At least, we survived. And we'll take that as the canon ending, even though my favorite was obviously the sacrifice. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. Bye.